Hello everyone, this is uh, Vinicius here and today I'm very happy to present our work on non-convex sparse graph learning for Laplacian structured graphical models. This is a joint work with my friend Jashi Ng and Professor Daniel Palomar. In this work we are interested in learning sparse graphical representations of data and to that end we assume that the data is generated from a Gaussian Markov random field and state-of-the-art algorithms they often rely on the entry-wise L1 norm regularized maximum likelihood estimator in order to recover sparse solutions for this problem. However, there are two major caveats with this formulation. The first one is that it is not scalable. Even though the problem is convex, it is very prohibitive to use discipline convex programming languages such as CVX. And the second one is that it has to do with the L1 norm. Surprisingly, the L1 norm is unable to recover sparse graphical representations on the previous um, Laplacian structured graphical model. To see that, we uh, set up a simple experiment where we have a ground truth graph and we generate data from that graph and we try to recover the underlying graph for different values of lambda. But what we observe is that as lambda increases, the learned graph gets denser and denser, which is actually the opposite of what we want. And theoretically, uh, we stated this theorem here, which basically says that for a large enough value of lambda, the graph is going to be fully connected. And for the proof of this uh, theorem, please refer to our um, supplementary material. Uh, to that end, to circumvent that previous issue, we use a non-convex regularization term, such as the minimax concave penalty, or the smoothly clipped absolute deviation. And to solve, to, to find a stationary point of the previous non-convex problem, uh, we design a measurization minimization algorithm. And here we show some results on synthetic data where we can see that as lambda increases, we are able to recover um, sparser graphical representations. And not only that, we're also able to uh, recover the true underlying graph. We also perform experiments on real world uh, data sets. Uh, this is a financial stock um, data set where we uh, can see that we can observe that our proposed algorithm yields a much more interpretable graph. And uh, all the results for, for our paper, they live on GitHub. Um, the code is open source. And if you are interested in um, learning more about the works that we've been doing here in sunny Hong Kong, please check out uh, our research group website. Thank you very much.